Hi everyone, this is Karma Lichty Bauman. In this video, we're going to look at how to change your header or add your logo inside your WordPress website. Now the actual steps will vary depending on your theme. I'm showing you, a very, I'm using a very generic theme and I found most themes will be very similar to what I show you, just, but just be aware that some of these steps it may not be exactly what you see on your theme. All right, to change my header or logo, before I do that, let me show you what the site looks like right now, which I think is right here. So very, just a very general site. I, this is not a live site. I use this for training purposes, such as this video. And right now I see the site name with the, with the description showing up, but we're going to change that out a bit. Go back to my dashboard for this site. Under Appearance, you can do one of two things, and most themes will have these options. You have a customized option. All, actually, all themes will have that. And most themes also have the header option. They actually take you to the same place. I just clicked on the header. It's going to take you inside what I would call the customized option. When I click on header, it takes me to that specific setting for customizing my site. If I click this back arrow, this is the, the entire customized option. So kind of to the same place with both options. Now to change what my header looks like, which right now has the, the site name and the description, there's several things we can do. Oftentimes the theme will include this option for site identity. This is where you can update the title and what they call the tagline. You can choose to show those or not show those. I can turn those off. And now if I had a header, and in this particular theme, and I'll do this in just a sec, the header is going to actually show up underneath the menu. Again, that is a theme setting, so if you want your, th your menu below your header, I would suggest to keep it simple, go select a different theme that allows that. I also want to mention this option here, the site icon, and explain what that is. The site icon, as it mentions, is used as a browser and app icon. So that means, and if you probably have noticed this, when you jump to some sites, I have some examples here in my browser, they have this little icon to the left of the site name. That is the site icon. In my business site, which is Onward Studios, you see this little O with the exclamation point. That's the site icon. So site icon doesn't appear up in your page per se, but it shows up in the tab to the left of your site or your, your page name. All right, I'm going to jump back here. So I've made, I have made a change here to turn off the site title and tagline, and now that that has disappeared, I'm going to save and publish this. I'm going to go back to my Customizer by hitting this back arrow. The other option that you'll find inside Customizer is the header image. And again, this is dependent on your theme, but most themes will have this. Right now, my current header is that I don't have an image set. There's a previously header that I, that I had. Now, if you want to do a different header on your site, I'd recommend creating your header inside Photoshop or some similar program. And I would also recommend setting that header to the specific size that's recommended by your theme. This theme suggests 960 by 250. That, again, that will vary from theme to theme. So find out within your theme what's the recommended header. Go create that somewhere in some, in some kind of image or graphic editing program, and then you have it available to upload. So if I want to change my header, I'm actually going to use this, this header that I already use, but I, I'm going to show you how I would do it from scratch, add new image. And since I already have this image in my media library, I'm going to select it from there. If you had created the image somewhere somewhere outside of here and you need to upload it, you select the Upload tabs and go find it, drag it into here. Since I've already uploaded this, I'm going to select this, it's actually a logo, and click on Select and Crop. Now, based on their recommendations, they will show you what that image will look like in the recommended size. This actually gets chopped off a little bit. Or you can choose to ignore the cropping and just go with it as is. And there's my header. Now, as I mentioned, the header in this particular theme shows up below the menu. And this header is not the, the recommended size. I just want to demo this really quick so I didn't bother to go out and create a header. But if I created a 960 by 250, this header would extend all the way across. What I might do with this, maybe I want to do this maroon, kind of mar red maroon background. I might make the entire header that color and then put my logo on top of that and maybe set it apart a bit so, so this little swirl also shows with that logo. That's how you can change your header. That's how you can also add your logo. So in this particular case, 
the logo became part of the header that I, that I would create outside of WordPress. There are some themes that actually will let you upload a logo. It will specify up your up your, upload your logo, and you can do just that. And other themes, and actually I found in most themes, if you want your logo on there as part of the header, you create the header outside of WordPress and then bring that in. I want to show you one other option here. This is my, my uh, business site. I go to Appearance, Customize under there. This is a little more complex theme, so excuse the complexity, just focus on what we're doing here, and that's the header image. Again, I have a site identity, where I have those turned on at the moment. If I go to header image, I'm just going to select the previous header image just for demo purposes. And if I select that, this is an example of where it places the header on top of the menu item. Okay. I'm not going to actually keep that, so I'll just X out of here and leave this page. That's how you can change your header and or add your logo to your WordPress website.